have a deep middle middle roster, so trying to see who can deliver tonight. Could see four different middles potentially tonight for USC. That's a roll shot down to the court for Adania Famuina. Lockdown block. The serving sub, Quinn Nenger, with a strong serve. Batenhorst still gets a good swing on it, but it's Trammell at 454. On her offensive game, coach said she's put in time with Izzy Stark, the setter, to set that connection because those tempos that we need on the court, and they need some offense out of that middle position. Stark to Juravicious. Two players collide, but. Coach always preferred that way. In the middle again, it's Trammell. Really upping her offensive game. Really before, just either on the court, has come in, done the work, and really running a balanced attack. Really impressed with her play. USC, when they're, like a lot of teams, when they're playing well, they're controlling the ball in a match against Colorado a couple years ago. But Stark says enough of that conversation. Both of these setters are offensive. Izzy Stark the other night against UCLA had six kills herself. Set point. Big time connection there. Baton Horst on the pick. And Mendelssohn one on one reacts to the back. A believer in not talking about errors and going for it and he said no in this case that was too many they weren't good errors so they were too long out of the court they were in the net those kind of errors were not service pressure here to Penn State a loud block here by Caroline Jurek that 1977 season was the first perfect season in women's volleyball history before the NCAA era and again in 03 and then of course during the Penn State four P they had back-to-back Undefeated seasons. Big with another successful throw. 6-1 run for USC. Caroline Juravicious covered by Grimes. We go back to Juravicious. To an anger the dig. Juravicious won't happen for her on this point. Creative. Poor pass. Good touch by the middle on the free ball, and it's a free ball pass to attack by Leah Ford. USC got beaten soundly in the first set, had to call timeout early in the second. And here they are in front, looking to even things up with the number three team in the country. But Stark and company. That's hammered. You said Falmolina would have some loud swings. Unbelievable. Four kills for Hannah, but two in the last three points. Batenhorst shoves that one into the block. It hits the court. He's carrying that into tonight. Remember, we were told by the Penn State coaching staff that the reason as Batenhorst is blocked, Trammell is involved there. Really want her to get high to be able to attack the ball over the block. When you're touching 11 feet, you can certainly do that. But a big block there by Trammell. Peyton Horst is dug. Stark somehow shoves it to Merzik. What a set by Izzy Stark. She's been good so far with five blocks as well. Wow. What a reach from Ariel. Izzy Stark and Endelson is denied. Really good response by USC after the huge deficit in this set. Tight to the net. Again on the joust, Ford with the point. USC within five. Merzik recalibrates, finds it, and that's Stark. I think she wants to be second. a pin hitter. Well, she has that mentality, honestly, being out here. Set point, and can 
you afford to take doing it out. They, the reason why they do this is because the numbers show they're very effective at, at point scoring when they do this blocking so. Not here, Merzik ends the conversation in the third set and despite a late USC surge, Wow, Smushed. that elevation. That was brief, and now Menger will serve. Tight, and Stark knows what to do on the third set point. Saved by Famawina, free ball for Penn State. Stark, Trammell to the court, it's Deuce. Goes to the middle. She chose wisely, and here she is. Stark has the answer. She's had a lot of success when she attacks that crossbody. What a set this has become. Hannah cross court. Wow, I love that aggressive swing. Seventh assist for Grimes from the libero spot. It's in! It lands in after USC pulled the arms back and Brad Keller had a challenge remaining. And now the Nittany Lions can celebrate. Penn State with its 20th win of the season. The winning streak is now 12. The Big Ten winning streak